Hello, my name is Andy. I'm a senior backend engineer on the ecosystem team. Uh, today I'm going to show how to restart a failed Jenkins pipeline. Um, so I'm going to share my screen. And so what I'm going to show is more of a workaround. Um, there is no official solution um, like a button on the merge request to restart the pipeline. Um, but we lock every webhook or every request that we send to Jenkins. And using those webhook locks, you can restart your pipeline. So I have a test project here. It already has the Jenkins integration set up. And um, I have one merge request with a failing pipeline. So you can see here, um, the pipeline has failed. And as you can see as well, there's no way to, to restart it from here. But if you navigate to the integrations page, and scroll down to the Jenkins integration, So here's the Jenkins integrations setting page. And if you scroll, scroll down more, you can see um, all the requests that this integration sends to Jenkins. So I have Jenkins running locally. It's on my own machine on port 8080. And um, using those logs, I can resend the request. The um, hard thing here is to find the right um, lock and in this case, it must be the first one because I only have one merge request and I did just one commit. Um, so if we look into the details, we can also see um, in the request body that this little one belongs to merge request ID one. So if you want to be sure to re-trigger the right pipeline, you can also look into this one. And to re-trigger it, you can just press this resend request button. So now we got back to the settings page and see that just about one second ago, there was a new request that went out to Jenkins. Um, back to the merge request, we should now be able to see that the pipeline is running again. It's not, maybe it's Maybe we have to wait for a little bit. Ah, there we go. Now it's running. And it should succeed in a moment. There we go, Python has succeeded. And this is a workaround how you can restart a failing Jenkins pipeline.